Hello everyone, this is Prelevant Arts, and recently I've been getting into logo design. Now, a lot of modern logos usually have the shapes are not usually touching. See how there is space in between this, these shapes? This space is called knockout, and normally the knockout space is the same distance apart. Now, I was trying to do something very similar with some logo variations I was creating. Now previously I explained how to create knockout space in a previous video and I said to expand strokes and you know create you know subtract or uh, divide but now I figured out something easier. Now we're gonna learn how to create strokes so they're how to, now I'm going to teach you how to have the strokes be transparent. So with, see this space in between? This is actually a line, and I can still edit it. So let me show you how to do this. So I created logos for different autism groups. Now let's take a look at this one, which is New Directions. I created uh, several different variations. So let's take a look at concept 1A. Now I'm going to do some editing so we look at how the logo looked originally because I'm going to walk you through everything step by step. Okay, so this is what the logo looked like originally. And you'll see that there are there is some overlapping areas. Like you see that like you see that this circle in the back is overlapping with this shape with this shape here but you'll also see that this line is not part of that shape so it doesn't matter how you set up the logo at first it doesn't matter whether you have closed paths or open paths I'll I'll show you how to you know, set everything up later on. Okay, so these are all the paths I have. So I'm gonna create a new layer. And this is gonna be called shapes. This is what we work with originally. So I'm gonna select all of these paths. And except for this new directions text, this is like this text down here. So I'm gonna hold shift and select all those paths drag them into the shape layer okay so this is uh, so this is uh, the original layer we work with for each concept now I'm gonna create a new layer called path well that S is supposed to be a D All right. so what path means is that you set the layer up for knockout and I would Originally, I had a third layer called Knockout, but because of this new technique I thought of, we no longer need a third layer. Okay, now under the Path layer, I'm going to create two new layers. This top one is going to be called Strokes, and this bottom one is going to be called Fills. So I'm going to open the Shapes layer, and I'm going to copy all layers that have strokes in them. So this has a stroke. It also has a fill and a stroke. Yeah, so I'm just selecting the, any objects that have strokes. That's what I'm doing first. Copy, 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 copy. Oh, I'm not copying, I'm just holding command. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh yeah, this is a donut shape here. Like, these two strokes are separate from the actual donut shape. These are open paths. And it doesn't matter what color your strokes are either. Okay, so I'm going to press Command-C to copy. And I'm going to put all of them in the strokes layer. Okay, now I'm going to copy all the objects that have fills. And you'll notice that I am, you know, recopying, you know, objects I already copied. 
OK, Command C, or Control C for Windows. And we're going to put it in, paste them in the fills layer, Command V. OK, and you know, I'm also going to copy these letters. And paste them in the fills layer. Okay, now I'm going to select the strokes layer and I'm going to make sure that there are no fills in that layer. Click that, remove, and click on the fills layer and make sure there are no stroke, make sure there are no strokes in the fills layer. And remove. Now there's just one change I'm going to make here. Now I said that I'm going to I'm setting these up for knockout. Now before I can knock knock these out, I'm going to select this path here. I'm going to add a node here, add a node here, here, and here. So I'm going to select these two, break curve, and delete. Oh. Now when working on knockout, it's okay if not all the shapes are closed shapes. And, and, and the way of knowing that is if shapes overlap one another. Very curve. And delete. Okay. Now this is the cool part. So we have all the strokes in one layer and all the fills in one layer. Now what we are going to do is we are going to we're going to click on the strokes layer and up here like for the different blend modes we are going to go all the way down to erase. But we're going to make sure these other layers down below are not shown. There we go. Yeah, make sure all the layers below are hidden. Otherwise, you will not get the same result. So that's a, a fast way to get have your strokes be transparent. And now, see, you can like edit the you can edit the stroke, and you can also resize. You may be think, oh, I want to have the stroke size be bigger or smaller. Well, that's how you can do it, just like that. And over here, notice how, um, like, this line is level with this line here. So if you can, try to not have shapes overlap one another. Otherwise, you'll have to do what I did, you know, with this uh, circle in the background, which is supposed to be the sun. I had to break a curve here you know, here and here, and then delete some curves. So that's um, what you have to do when you're overlapping shapes. And the funny thing is, I realized this technique later on. So if I click on this shape, uh, okay, why can't I select? Oh. So if I click on this shape here, like these are separate shapes, but then, as I was making the drawing of this college, I realized that, oh, I didn't even have to do that. Then I came up with that idea for... Whoa. Then I came up with that idea to just have different blend modes instead. So I just want to let you know that there will be a lot of um, cases in which you may have different shapes be overlapping one another because if you look here aside from the path layer look at what look at the shapes layer oh, let me remove this uh, navigator so if I click on the shape see how this is overlapping uh, this is overlapping so I made a lot of edits so I'm gonna just show you what I did here again so I'm going to just remove the path layer for now, create a new path layer,
Oh yeah. Right, now what I did here actually, I copied everything. Paste, remove fills. Paste and add it. And now this is a long process with the strokes. This is kind of what I did. I brought this down. Oh, convert curves. I broke these paths. So if you do have, you know, shapes overlapping one another, this is kind of what you have to do. Whoop. Break. And I'm not going to do the whole thing, but basically this is kind of what you have to do. And then once you do that, then you could click on your stroke and set erase mode. And with this stroke, I think I... Uh, what did I do? I think I had that path on its own. I had it up here. So this is just an idea I came up with. I, I hope that you find this useful. I think it's a much faster way to create knockout space. Let me know what you think in the comments.